But with Be Selfish, first the name came up that day yeah. on the Black and Mild shoot. Mm-hmm. It wasn't something I wanted to name it that way. But I feel like every time we say Be Selfish, everyone asks like, be selfish what do you mean mm-hmm. like because they have a negative narrative to Always. being selfish mm-hmm. but it gives me a chance to explain it's the good way of being selfish self-care self-love self-reinvention just just to give yourself some time you know to find out who you are and what your purpose is and then you could go and do what you have to do in the world mm. do you think that people are too giving of themselves or they don't take their dreams seriously enough yeah, and they're yeah. influenced not to give in mm. to their dreams. So just because other people don't see themselves doing something, they're like, man, stop dreaming. Mm. You know, mm. so when you start becoming selfish, you start, you know, those type of people be like, I'm going to follow my dreams. If you don't want to do yours, it's cool. Be selfish at that moment. Absolutely. Mm. And then while you start following your dreams and while you get into the space, you will meet people with the same kind of mindset. And guess what? Those people are going to push you. Mm. Mm-hmm. So that. that's why I'm saying be selfish. So it's not the there's always a negative side, but yeah. we're going to focus on the good side of being selfish. Boundaries. Um, at my son's school, there's something called Cultural Day. Mm-hmm. So we're going to create like a little fake set and like make a crew out of the students. Nice. And then, yeah. So they that's, love it. That's in the works because my son is crazy when it comes to cameras and it's probably because it's a production house right now. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I would love to create a little set and see, you know, just mm-hmm. create, just have these little mindsets from from small you know, and mm-hmm. if they like it, hey, just keep going at it. Yeah, that's something I wanted to do with mine, too, is, like, be able to bring kids around just to show them what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Because seeing things really helps you to imagine it for yourself. Absolutely. It's hard to imagine things you've never experienced before. Mm-hmm. So if you just show people, like, oh, yeah, look, it's just three cameras, four mics, some chairs. Like, anybody can really do it, you yeah, know? Yeah, I'm the big on that. Is, yeah, and you could even be like, yeah, like, I'm at a disadvantage and things in my life are... Mm-hmm clearly showing that i'm being held back but Mm -hmm. if you start to really identify that and think that you're powerless then you won't be able to change Mm -hmm. your situation game over i've used that as fuel like i it like changed the i'm single mom i was a single mom starting the makeup business when i had the two when my i had the two boys super early Mm -hmm. it was one of those things that everything i felt like everything was against Mm -hmm. right but i was just like no i had to switch it like you literally it's a mind thing you have to switch it and use that to push you like okay world you want to go against me you don't know who i am yet right it's a mindset and it pushes Mm -hmm. and then little literally you start placing yourself in positions where you feel like you belong and it starts happening because you're changing your surroundings. You're changing the people around you yeah. also. And that's why I always say it's better to think of like in terms of frequency and like uh-huh. tuning a radio. Mm-hmm. And then you have to really be like, OK, I want to maybe I am experiencing a lot of negativity in my life. I need to rise above that, you know, because right. you get stuck in certain frequencies depending on your environment and the people you hang out with. Mm-hmm. It can get contagious and it can keep attracting things that you don't mm-hmm. want in your life. You really have to focus on the things that you do want versus what you don't want. And I yes. think too many times are people like, I don't want to do this. So they're they're playing life scared. Mm-hmm. And as a result, life is giving that, uh, oh, we're playing scared. So I need to keep scaring myself right. and keep putting myself in bad positions. What but is, What is the acronym for fear again? False uh, evidence appearing real. Real, yes. yes. It's so true. Yeah. That's really what perspective is. It gives you a almost like a narrative of your life. I mm-hmm. think if you can create that story in your life it eliminates a lot of the anxiety you experience oh yeah if you're not driven by a vision or like your story like oh you know this is my origin story i'm building in a couple years i'm gonna look like this that's what helps you create your future but if Mm -hmm. you're living on oh shit this happened to me back in the past Mm -hmm. i don't want that to happen to me again like that's not (laughs) that's not a good blueprint for your life absolutely not i saw this this video of a lady saying that life just because it's it's production life for me um, you, your life is your own production. You know, yes. you are the yeah. director, you are the writer. If you don't like something, you can change yep. it. Mm-hmm. You know, if if something went, there's something, there was a climax moment and you want a happy, you can make a happy ending. Because mm-hmm. um, when I was growing up, I never anticipated me having a clothing brand, like making my own hats or doing a podcast or making any kind of content. Like mm-hmm. I was never drawing in school. I was never, you know, I was just a jock. Like I played football and I played video games. You know. Really. Yeah. I would not. So you didn't do any creative 
anything like no wow. i used to you know what i'm saying like just make fun of shit like that like yeah fuck that like i'm not about to be on the computer doing all that extra bullshit Interesting. And then, like, you know and then yeah and then i when i stopped playing sports and i was just like wait there's a lot more to life you know and started reevaluating. And then mm. my experience teaching, I was like, damn, like the world's still pretty fucked up. Like there's actually mm -hmm. a lot wrong. Yeah. So when I stopped thinking about just my career and my future and I start, started looking at the world and seeing like what problems can I solve? Mm -hmm. Then I was like, okay, there's a way that I can do the things that I want and solve these problems too. Bars. And then I was mm -hmm. like, oh shit, like I can really do anything I want. Mm -hmm. And so it took me a while to get to that point. Yeah. It, like, but it's something that I hope to give to other people because now I almost like do it on like a science. Like I had to prove it to myself. Like I couldn't yeah. just, like I, everyone's heard, oh, you know, if you believe you can do it, then you can. But like that shit. You got to work. That sounds like, though. it is true, but it, if, <laughs> but it doesn't sound like it. it's 10% that and 90% your work. Yeah, that's but what still like it can feel like that's just a fairy tale. You know what I mean? Like, because you're influenced to think that way. There's so much negative influence around to make you think you can't. People don't show the 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 struggle that it gets. Like you see people's highlights in their life. You look on on anything. Mm -hmm. Celebrities, they they showcase where they're at, but they're never going to show you what they had to go through. Mm. And then that's what's happening. People don't see the struggle. So people mm. could be in struggle and be like, I'll never get there because I, I think the and, biggest and, and, disservice and, and, that we're, that is done to us is we think that God is outside of us. So we feel God powerless is within us. Bars. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> that's why I really think that's why they killed Jesus. Cause they were like, all right, this guy's telling everybody that they're, <laughs> that they're in control. <laughs> he's wilding out. Like there's no way we're going to be able to get people to do whatever we mm -hmm, want. If mm -hmm. he's just telling them basically that they don't have to. Mm -hmm. So we got to get rid of him. And then once we kill him, we can make him the, the ticket to mm -hmm. salvation. Like you can't get I've on your own. Never you gotta seen have it that way, but thank you. Wow. Yeah. It's like, you can't, go, you can't get everlasting salvation unless, mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ, your Lord and savior. Mm -hmm. But he was coming here saying, didn't it say in the scripture, we are gods like i'm so yes mm -hmm. yes unity is the hardest thing they made it hard they made it hard yeah it's yeah. really they made it hard and it's just like yeah. if people would understand how powerful they really are mm -hmm. that's what that's where mind control came in yeah mm -hmm. like they know because they were able to do so so they're like oh no we can't spark this into anyone else literally and they so. studied us before yeah. Before it all began, like mm -hmm. it's in the stars. People are, yeah. Mind. I mean, this shit is getting passed down. They didn't just start social no. engineering this year or last year. No, <laughs> they've had this. Shit. It wasn't during Rona, y'all. Yeah, history so. is repeating itself as far as like they're using the tactics that they used years ago. Mm -hmm. Now they're just like, okay, we're gonna do it with technology because it's oh, happening oh, with for technology. Sure. Yeah, if you think about God as a frequency, something that you can tune into, and something that you want to hold. It gives you something to aspire to. Yes. So it's like, I can be like Jesus versus, you know, putting him on a pedestal of like, you know, Jesus would do that. But me, I'm just a little me. So, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, I ain't got to push myself that hard. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's that's where the being selfish comes in. Because if you're like, look, I have God inside of me that I'm trying to let forth. I can't let motherfuckers just bullshit and drag me down. Right. You, know, you got to be real serious about that. Don't just let nobody to, play in your face. Just to put something in perspective it's for people who like are listening. Your inner voice. Mm -hmm. Everyone has when you close your eyes and you listen. There's some things that happen that you say to yourself, ah, I should have done that differently. Why didn't I listen to that inner voice? What do you think that is? Yeah, where do you think it's coming from? Right. You know, when you have a gut feeling and something don't feel right. I always say trust the gut. What do you think that is? Mm -hmm. Like, don't you feel like sometimes you can kind of tell the future or you know that you're not supposed to be doing something or you see someone doing something wrong and you're like, yo, if this, what do you think that is? Like, and it comes to you not? in different forms. And it comes to you in different it, forms. Whether it be a dream, whether it be a bird, whether it be the way the wind blows and it, you know, strokes mm -hmm. your hair. Like, it comes in different ways. Just pay attention. Yep. And you can't really pay attention Cause it, then you go into all the other things, you know, we get into all these crazy activities We're drinking, we're smoking, we're this, we're that. Don't be blocking your third eye. Like you really, you know, I'll put there on purpose. Yeah. Say, so I don't know if you guys want to go there. It's cool to be, it's <laughs> right. cool to have fun, but it's here to teach you. All of this is teaching you something deeper, mm -hmm. you know, to come back to yourself. Who were you before the world told you who you were? Right. You know, like come back Facts. to self. So, yeah. Nice. 
You can get deep, y'all. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> like I said, this was this is a good conversation. This is really what inspires me to do this shit every day. Edit the podcast, do this shit all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to have a a real serious reason to do the things you want to do. Yeah, because it's, it's your a lot of serious work. Reason. Yeah, you have to be serious about mm-hmm. it, and you have to it's for you exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I and <laughs> I'm dead ass serious because I saw when I was teaching. I'm like, I see a lot of so many kids that don't believe in themselves at mm. all. You know, and it was like, if we can, like, they're learning things on YouTube and shit. Like, we can get this information and put it in a way that they would. Yep. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, oh, now I'm internalizing it. Oh, yeah, I should just try. I would have so many kids that would just try. And I'm like, oh, shit, this is easy. I'm like, that's what I said. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. you would just wouldn't give me a chance mm-hmm. to, like, just try it. Mm-hmm. And so I, I meet so many people in real life that won't even try. It's mm-hmm. like, yo, like, why not? So What's the worst that could happen? Literally. What's the worst? Take the risk. My whole, whole idea was like, let me get as many people on here that, I can, that can prove that they're just regular people. You might have never heard of them, but they decided to go in on what they're doing. Yes. And now look, you know? So... Appreciate y'all for contributing to that. That's lit. No, no thank problem. you. I think that's why, because I'm thinking of a way, I'm trying to cr- write a book so that people who aren't creating anything can look at themselves as creators. Yeah, I w- love that. One of the things that I'm really, I think is like the most important factor is what you identify with. Mm, okay. I think too many people identify with the smallness in them mm. and what they can see. And what you can see is <laughs> not even close to what reality really is. Right. We can only see less than 1% of the light spectrum, mm-hmm. which means that most of what we're seeing is just a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of what's really there. Mm-hmm. And I think if people started to identify with that voice inside, mm-hmm. not your yeah. body, because you're really just animating your body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you look at your body almost like it's a car and that it it has its own little yeah. quirks, mm-hmm. like Jordan gets mad in the morning, like don't mm-hmm. talk to him in the morning. Or, <laughs> You got to really learn how to like control yourself and see how you react. But also like when it comes to generational curses, the way your ancestors were thinking and feeling does get passed down to you through something called epigenetics. Mm -hmm. So you have to be like, Oh shit. Like, is this something, is this me or is this something else? You know, it goes deep. Yeah. You get a lot of thoughts and feelings that aren't really you. So to Mm -hmm. be able to pull yourself out and disassociate with those Mm -hmm. thoughts and ideas can really help you kind of do what, you, what we were talking about is um, reimagine how you'll react to things yeah this is the last thing i'll say i want to turn over to y'all but most of our behavior is like automatic what a 90 percent is just you remembering how you reacted to certain stimuli in your environment yep and then just running that program again so oh, yeah i tell myself and others like we have to realize when we're about to fall into a program mm-hmm. and just make another choice that's how you start I to make a better life that. Love yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I say that all the time, like, especially with the relationship with our moms. We talked about that on our show. And, you know, my mom is stuck in her old school ways. I know, mm-hmm. Lily, your mom is as well. But I'm such a. Like, I really don't play games with my mom. I'm just <laughs> like, mom, you were the vessel to get me here. I love you. I respect you. But this is how it's going to go in my world. Right. You know, mm-hmm. like, and that's it. So. It's easy to like get caught up with your parents and yeah. you know, all the, mm-hmm. the things from your past that trigger you. Mm-hmm. But it's like, no, you have no power here. It's because like, like those people remember the old you. So now they see you switching up. They're like, what the hell? Like, Yeah. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll hit it with my mom with the, the I know who you are. I'm like, you don't know. Who you got to reintroduce am. yourself, baby. You even you, ma. Know. Yeah. I'm I mean, big I, on that. That's really what human experience is all about. Like, you're going to be constantly baptizing yourself. Like, oh, shit. I remember what I did before. Mm-hmm. Let me go in and figure it out. All right. Next time I'm going to be do act, act a different way. I'm a new person now. You yeah. know, like, mm-hmm. that's not a one time thing. That's a continuous so, thing. You're always evolving. Yeah. 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 We experience each other and you have to literally get up every day to choose to have a better experience with yourself like i always say like there's no competition it's like it's me versus me yeah me versus the old me you know that's it so shit is hard uh, thinking that way but then everything around you looks and feels like uncompetition right so that's why it's hard for people to think that way because you're always going to focus on what someone else is doing before you of like okay I need to go do this yeah. to get what I, you know, so yeah. If yeah. I was playing a video game and I was like, oh, snap, I get to this point in the level and I need to pay $100 to get in, but I only have 150 total dollars, mm-hmm. I'm not going to be like, oh, shit, like, 
I only have I only have fifty dollars left. Like, how am I gonna retire? How am I? No, like I have the money right now. Boom! I know yeah. what I'm. I'm gonna be pro progressing. Like I know eventually the the game. I'm gonna be strong as fuck. So why yeah, would I be? Yeah, because you're believing that. You're you gotta right. live your life like that. Why would I be? Pro oh wow! I'm in debt a thousand dollars. Like okay, no. but I have a plan to go. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's like that shit is. It can be scary until you do it and you're like oh wait that's actually not that big a deal yes mm -hmm. and it's the seriousness of the ego that holds you back because you're scared yeah. man that depth to ego is oof it's real. crazy yeah it, it really real. is it's crazy i'm learning more about it like every day so life is a journey I, it I think is beautiful people, journey yeah but not enough people get to stop and smell the roses we're just stuck in a rat race but you got to enjoy the life you're living because yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't. I can't tell you you'll only get one, but I th I'm pretty sure you only get one as who you are right now. So yeah. you might as well be the best Jordan special, Sorrel, mm -hmm. Lily yeah. you can be, you know? So, you know, that's great.